Hey guys, good morning. It's 7 a.m. Another morning devotional. Um, I'm Pastor Wes, and it is Wednesday morning. I hope you slept well. I hope you're ready for your week, ready for your day. Um, oh, Rosie, stop. We're going to be in Psalm 104. If you have a Bible, turn there. This is going to be a real quick devotional because I want you guys to just do what David's doing here. I, I want this to be an, an, an action uh, psalm where we read and then we just do right away. Um, Psalm 104, it's 35 verses, um, and it is awesome. I was reading it this morning. It is just David praising God. It is just, but not just like, oh, God, you're good. Oh, God, I love you. Oh, God, you're good. Oh, you're mighty. Oh, you're powerful. He gets specific. Like, verse 9, you set a boundary that they may not pass so that they might not get, again, cover the earth. And he's talking about like these, 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 these things that he created in the earth, the mountains, the, the seas, the winds, the, all these things. And it is crazy. Verse 16, the trees of the Lord are watered abundantly. The cedars of Lebanon that, the, that he planted. Like it, it doesn't necessarily get, I mean, some of these verses get very wild. It talks about smoke and just intensity of God. And then other verses here, he's just like, the, the trees that he planted are, are healthy. They're taken care of. Um, talks about lions roaring for their prey, asking God for their food. Um, and this is really intense. So my challenge here is that we would go to the Lord and let's just be, let's just worship him. And let's just not say, oh God, you're good. Oh God, you're good. Let's actually, what does that mean to you and I? What does that mean to us? I love to trout fish. I love to camp. I love to hike. I love nature. That might be totally different than what you love. So when I'm praising the Lord, I'm like, Lord, thank you for creation. I, I, like, I, I resonate with the nature aspect, whereas you, sorry, my dog is attacking me, where you might resonate with something totally different. So today, let's just, I'm going to challenge you, get away, sorry, by my hand, <laughs> Rosie, stop. Get away and just praise the Lord. Rejoice in who he is and praise him in ways that are intimate with you in him, that ways that he knows that you enjoy. And then here we go. This is the verse that I really that this hit me, verse 34. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Guys, meditation, meditating is this thing, is this practice you do where you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you the Hollywood version. You, you, you go away, you sit down, and you close your eyes, and you just focus on something. Whether it be focusing on, on nothing or focusing on something that you, you, you want to be made into you. Because meditation, what meditation is, is just what you focus on, what your heart focuses on. What your mind goes to when you're still. What your mind goes to when you're quiet. What are your meditations? Good or bad? Let's just be real with each other. What are your, I'm not asking you to comment. Don't comment. What are your meditations? Good or bad? Indifferent? Ugly or beautiful? God knows them. God has a front row seat to the movie of your mind. He knows what you think. Nothing is a mystery to the Father. Guys, let's ask him into our meditations. Let's bring him into the movie theater of our mind, which he's already in. Let's just recognize he's there and ask him what would he like to see. And then, guys, let's just go praise the Lord in a way that's intimate to you and I. Let's have an intimate morning with our Father because we're his children. Have a good day. Bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow.